go. All right, today we're going to talk about, right now we're going to talk about units. Units are critical in science engineering. We need care and we need to be able to convert units. It's really not that bad. Make sure you're clear on it. If not, come see me, your professor, or your classmates. Um, the topics are going to be math and equalities, very quickly. Uh, common units, uh, we'll talk about the NIST just for a moment. SI and KS system, also the CGS system, and then there's the American Standard System too. Physical equality, it's a term I kind of coined. Uh, physical unity, or one. Conversion factors, also known as, if you have chemistry, you've seen that. Rapid replacement therapy, that's another old silly little term that I coined. But uh, it's therapy because it makes things easier. So if you're gonna, even if you know how to do some of this stuff, you might pick up a couple of tips that'll save you some ink um, and make things faster. Prefixes for powers of 10, you should know them, commit them to memory, um, and talk just briefly about mixed units. Um, you may have notes on this posted as a PDF online or in a, um, in a notes packet that we purchased at the bookstore. So real quick, math. Math is the language of how much. And we can talk about lengths, angles, time, how much, how many things. Right? You know that. Equals, though, this is a, one of the most misused symbols, I think. It drives me nuts. Equals means the same amount as. Equals does not mean the same as. So you'll see here in a second an example of that. It's very important in physics and engineering and sciences to use your symbols carefully, to communicate carefully, because it's not just for you, it's not just for getting the answer in a class, it's for the grader, but it's also for your colleagues that you work with and papers that you publish, etc. So use things carefully, it'll be taken note of nicely. Okay, so um, so it's not the same, not the same as, but it's the same amount as. NIST, National Institute of Standards and Technology, you can look them up, you can find out how exactly a meter is defined, how exactly a second is defined. You find that they aren't exactly defined. They're defined according to some measurement. We'll talk about that uh, soon. There's the SI system, or if you can speak French, uh, international system in French, uh, which is a common system. We use that a lot. We use that a lot in uh, physics books, but it's not the only system. It's useful sometimes for macroscopic things, but often it's not useful, but it's fine. It's the same as MKS. So we can say MKS. When you say MKS, you're talking about the SI system, international system. Okay, so what is this? What do we measure uh, when we talk about amounts of things? When we talk about amounts of things, we're often talking about lengths, some sort of standard length. We're talking about mass. How much mass is there? We're talking about time. So there's length, mass, and time. And then we can measure lots of other things, but fundamentally, even if you're reading a meter, you're looking at where that needle is on your meter aren't you? Well, this is milliamps. I'm still actually looking at where the needle goes, how much of an angle it deflects through. You can measure things like, how strong is this magnet? It's a magnetic force strength. How can I measure that? Maybe with how much a spring stretches, which is a length. Okay, so length, mass, and time are very fundamental to measuring lots of different complicated units. So let's just set this up. We can use M. What do you think that stands for? A meter, which is, you should get an intuition for a meter. That's not a meter, right? This is not a meter stick. Right? This is a meter stick. This is not a meter stick. It's a yard stick. Is it longer or shorter? Well, it's a bit shorter, isn't it? By about three plus inches. Okay. So a meter is one thing you can use for length, meter. For mass, you can use K or KG, kilograms. This 
scale measures in grams or tenths of grams. Okay, that's fine. Um, and of course, time can be measured in seconds. And we'll talk about time later in those units. But you could use other system. Another common system is CGS. We're dealing with certain types of electrodynamics and various things like this. CGS can be a very nice unit. What do you think the C stands for? Well, it's the centimeter, which is, you'll see, uh, one one hundredth of a meter, a little bit. Kind of like the little bit less than the width of your pinky tip. Get an intuition for that. That's the gram. And then we still use seconds. So there's lots of different systems. Of course, we can use inches, and we can use yards and feet, and we can use miles, and we can use a variety of things, whatever is useful. So this tool is useful for writing on paper. You only want to carry this in your back pocket and uh, use it to draw. Fine. So those are systems of units, and that's you know nice and quick and easy. So now, when we talk about using units, when we talk about the language of how much, I can say I have a thousand. Just to impress you, I have a thousand. Whoa. You have a thousand? Yeah, I got a thousand. A thousand what? Pennies? Just ten bucks. Okay, so, so you got to be able to communicate on paper what that number means. People can't read your mind, and they can't read your mind on paper. So you've got to be very careful. Also, you're going to make mistakes if you're not careful. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about the how much. And you'll see that you have things like, I can say this. You can't read my mind, but I can write that and say that is equal. One's equal to 12. Okay? Travis has one, I've got 12. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, he's got one foot. Well, I got, oh, Travis has one dozen things. And I have 12 things. Okay? They're equal. So 1 equals 12, but not it's not clear unless I've written the units in there. So that's physical equality, and we're going to build on this idea. It's pretty simple, right? So we can play this game, right? Uh, let's see. 60 equals 1. Come up with your own, fill in the blank, right? Now, can I do, can I relate seconds Time to length. Doesn't make any sense. Right? So when I say is the same amount as, the only way I can do this is I'm talking length compared to a length, or minutes compared to an hour, right? Or seconds compared to a minute, or anything else that you can come up with that has that relationship. So this is all we mean by physical equality. So, the thing that makes this really gets easy is that we can build on this idea. And the next thing is physical unity. So physical unity, R1, capitalize this. Physical unity called a conversion factor in your chemistry or other classes textbook. Physical unity. So, if one foot is the same as 12 inches, that means that 1 over 12 is equal to 1. Kind of weird. But it's only physically the same as 1. So what am I talking about? Well, 1, say, foot over 12 inches. So if I multiply, this is a length over a length, it's there, if I multiply by this factor, I'm not changing the amount, but I am changing the number. So we're going to start converting units here. You can, you can choose any length you want and name it after yourself. Here's one u, and that would be two u's, maybe that's three u's. Um, here, a little hard to see, but this is the meter, and then centimeter, and then millimeter side, and this is the inch side, right? So 
What I've done here is I've set this to 10 inches. And the reason I've set that to 10 inches is because I know that when I flip this, 10 inches is physically the same as 25.4. Check it yourself. It's kind of cool. So that means that over here on physical equality, 10 inches, also written like that, that's right, is the same as 25.4 centimeters. In fact, one inch is identically, not even with any extra sig figs, like the number five, 2.54 centimeters. That's a good thing to remember. Okay. And we're going to talk about you know, getting used to how much. As an engineer, if you don't know how much, if you don't have a sense of your numbers that you're working with and the quantities you're working with, you're really not effective at all and probably don't have a job. Um, so, all right. So, one foot divided by 12 inches is taking the same amount, dividing by the same amount. And that's physically the same as one. So if I multiply by this, I'm multiplying effectively by one, but I'm changing the number. This length can be called 25.4, or this length can be called 10, just as long as I'm clear on the units. OK, what else can we do? So that means that, uh, well, if that's true, then 12 over 1 equals 1, right? But again, it's nonsense until I keep good track of what that means and really physically a kind of a kind of one, physical unity or the one, and we'll see. So the point here is multiplying by this ratio, this physical unity, doesn't change the physical amount. Multiply by Physical unity does not change the physical amount. Learn to abbreviate. You'll need to as you go on because people write really fast, right? So multiplying by physical unity does not change the physical amount. But it does convert units. So, simple examples, and we'll work examples in class, and that's why we're doing this, so that you're ready to, to go with this. Let's try it out. Uh, I don't know, I went 5.2 feet. How many inches did I go? Well, 5.2 feet is the same as 5.2 feet times physical unity, or 1. That is, it's 5.2 feet times, I want to get rid of the feet, and I want to end up with, say, inches, if that's what you want. So first you do this, and then you say, how many of these are equal to how many of these? 1 foot, 12. And so when you work with numbers, you're also working with units because you're working with amounts of something, of different things. So put the units in and keep track of them. Okay? So that would be 5.2 times 12 divided by, in this case, 1. Not two hearts, that's a little bit. Uh, oops. And the units would be feet times inches divided by feet. Of course, that's overkill, and you can kind of skip that step because you know that those are going away. And 5 times 12, just get good with your arithmetic, right? That's 50, and 5 times 2 is 10, so that's 60. And then 0.2 times 12, 2 times 12 would be 24. So 0.2 would be 2.4, so that's 62.4. What? Inches. So that is equivalent to that. And you've converted it. No big deal. It's just you might have data. Maybe someone measured it in inches and feet and so on. Right? So there was a, uh, a famous trip to Mars. I'll keep this short. And uh, 
in that trip, there were uh, two missions going, and one mission failed because one team, and this is a uh, simplification of, the, of what actually happened, but sort of in effect, one team used this side and the other team used this side and the numbers didn't work. Okay, you can, you can look up more of the details, but that can be a serious problem. You have to be clear what it is. Because one unit's fine, the other's fine. Um, whatever you've got, but be very clear about this. Okay, um, let's see. I think, wanna, uh, let's see, conversion. I'm going to continue this onto another uh, video lecture just for the, uh, the megabytes. So let me pause for a moment and uh, have dramatic uh, crashing. And let's see, you can work this for good. So conversion factor is really multiplying by one, physical one, not numerical. The number 5.2 is not the number 62.4. And if someone told you 5.2 was the same as 62.4, you'd say you're not communicating very well or you're crazy. Um, so that's, that's very weak. And that's why we've got to carry the units around. Um, and we get, we'll do exercises on that. And uh, make sure that you're good. It's quite simple. Let's do one more really quickly. Hold on time. Three and a half minutes. Thanks. All right. So I don't want to get that 500 megabyte limit. Uh, let's give this a uh, a shot where we can continue to do this. So, for example, let's do yards. Um, suppose I've got. Let's make our number easy to multiply. 8.0 yards. How many inches is that physically equal to? Well, I can convert that. 8.0. Well, I don't know how many inches in the yard. Yes, I do, and you do too. Probably 36, right? So you could do that. You could just say yards times 36 inches in one yard. Fine. So that, that works out fine. But suppose you don't. Suppose you just know that there's, I know that there's uh, three feet in one yard. Well, that's cool because that gets me the feet. And then I know that there are 12 inches in one foot. And of course, that's where we get 36, what, inches. Got rid of my yard times 8.0, and that'll tell you how many inches you have. You can get, convert from seconds to years. Um, how many seconds in a year? Do that in class. OK, cool. Next, what I'm going to show you is rapid replacement therapy, which is a way to do it with less chalk sometimes, very quick. So we'll get into that. And prefixes, power of 10, and mixed units on the next video.